How's it going guys? Today I've got a video on my Nexus 7. Haven't done anything on this thing in a while for video wise. Um, there's a lot of good stuff you can do on it. Uh, but today I'm going to show you guys how to install um, Shabby Penguin Recovery um, which is based on Clockwork Mod Recovery on this device. Um, this can be pretty cool. It's a pretty neat recovery. I'll show it to you guys and show you how it, how it functions for you. Um, just like Clockwork Mod Recovery for the most part. Um, but anyway uh, so basically I'm going to show you guys how to do this. You're going to have to do this from fast boot mode to flash this image over from your computer. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. This is just running right now stock Nexus 7 except for it is does have root permission and it is does have an unlocked bootloader. Obviously you're going to have to have both of those things to do this. Um, so let's go ahead and power off the device. Right here, power off. Okay, and then to get into um, bootloader mode so we can run AP fast boot commands or fast boot commands I should say um, you're basically going to hold the volume up and down and the power button all at the same time let's let this thing shut off though first so go ahead and hold those two and that other one okay so here we go now we are in bootloader mode and basically from here we can just leave it in this mode right now um, but what we're going to have to do is go ahead and hook this thing up to our computer in this mode. Uh, if you've unlocked your bootloader, you probably already have the right drivers installed to run this thing. So I'm not really going to go over that too much. Um, if you don't know if your bootloader is unlocked, when you power this thing up for the first time, it comes up with a Google logo. And then there'll be a little lock on the bottom. That means it's unlocked. If there's just a Google logo, it's not unlocked. So just so you guys know. Um, so let's go ahead and plug in our cable and plugged in everything should be set up good here so we're going to go ahead and set this down okay now that we're in um, bootloader mode everything's hooked up to our computer what i'm going to give you guys is a link right here to this file which is basically an adb fast boot interface setup and you can extract it and then um, s install it into your c drive and then just move the file that's in that zip right which is this file this adb file and put it in C drive ADB. You technically can put it anywhere. Um, you technically can put it anywhere, but right here, C drive, and then ADB is where you want to put it. Um, so you're going to open that up, and then you've got these four files. So the other thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and also download the image you need, the recovery image. So let me pull that up here. I got mine in another folder here. Wherever you have yours. It's fine. I'm just going to show you where mine's at. Um, here it is. It's called O U D H. Wait a minute. That's the wrong one. I need the Nexus 7 one. If I can find it, Nexus 7. There we go. So, right here O U D H S 1.0.3.4. That's the file. So, we're just going to take it and copy it. And then put it in our ADB folder and paste. And there you go. So you downloaded the ADB zip. You downloaded this image file right here. And that should be everything you guys are going to need to do this. So from here, your phone, your tablet's still in bootloader mode. We're just going to hold shift on this window. Right click. And then it says open command window here. And you should see this command window which says c dot whatever colon slash adb greater than whatever that dumb symbol is um so the first thing i want to do right here is you want to make sure your device is connected and working correctly so we're going to type in uh fast boot devices and hit enter and it comes up with the serial number and says fast boot. That means your drivers are working correctly and you can go ahead and flash this over. Um, so then all we're going to do is hit uh, fast boot flash recovery. Oh, got to type right. And then we're going to actually back out really quick just to make sure we type it all correctly. And hit rename and then copy this name. Go back to our command window, hit paste, and then we need to add dot img at the end of it, and then hit enter. 
And this is going to replace whether you have stock recovery, torque recovery, clockwork bar recovery, whatever recovery you have, this is going to flash it. So it should say sending, OK, writing, OK, and finished. Once you did that, let's go back to the tablet and we're going to boot into it and show it to you guys. Okay, so here we go. We're still in bootloader mode. I can go ahead at this point, you can unplug your cable off the bottom and then you can use your volume up and down and we can scroll to recovery mode and then you can hit power. And right there, see that unlock symbol? That's what I was talking about. That has to be there otherwise you do not have an unlocked bootloader and you cannot flash this unless you see that little symbol on boot up normally the lock symbol. Okay, so here we go. This is Shabby Penguin Recovery, um, made by him and his team. Like I said, this is based on Clockwork Mod Recovery. I'm going to try to zoom in so you guys can see some of this stuff right here. I think you can see that a little better. So the cool thing about this recovery system over most is that it's based on um, gestures and it has a little Easter egg in it too. So to scroll, you just hold your finger and drag down and that's how you scroll through your options. So let's say we want to do a backup. We go to there. Then you want to select. You go left to right, and it will select it. And then it says you want to do a backup. You can do it again. If you want to go back, you go right to left, and it goes back. And then the fun thing about this thing, so it's basically gesture-based, so you're not using your volume keys um, to do everything. That's kind of what makes this really fun. And the last thing is, is you can go ahead and do this by scrolling a bunch of times, and voila! Now it went to rainbow mode. So that's just kind of cool. Once you scroll a whole bunch of times through the uh, menus, it kind of switches back and forth. You can see it switch back to grayscale and back to rainbow. It's just kind of fun, fun to play with. And so basically everything is now just a swipe directional to do all your recovery commands. It also gives you a battery percentage up right there on the top, which is kind of nice. So, and then tells you down here at the bottom what, what you've been doing down there a little uh, log down there of what you've done already so that's it I mean your commands are basically pretty simple you know do your backup restores right there mount stuff you got advanced wiping Delvic cache things like that your standard wipes install from SD card all those all those goodies so pretty cool I like the recovery I do like the gestures it's kind of nice if you're making a lot of re uh, backups and stuff like that flashing a lot of ROMs the recovery system is pretty sweet so that's pretty much it guys that is how to install Shabby Penguin recovery um, or OUDHS recovery based on clockwork monitor recovery. I'm going to go ahead and reboot the device now by swiping across. And there we go. It's going to reboot. So I hope you guys liked this video. hope it was informative for you. And uh, you know how to do this now. So, hey, please check me right out. Up, uh, check me out right up here at rootjunkie.com right up there above my thumb. You can follow me on Facebook or Twitter over here on the side. Uh, as always, I uh, hope you guys like this video. Uh, I'll try to make some more on the Nexus 7 here soon, and we'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.